What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. A while back we produced a video on how to pick out the right fin for you and I had a lot of questions on that video so what I'm going to do is I actually brought in a fin expert to help us determine what is the best fin for us to use. So guys, I want to introduce you to Troy. Troy's going to tell us exactly how we should be picking out dive fins. What's up guys? This is old T-Roy and I'm here to do a fin review for y'all today. The first fin we're going to review Y'all probably seen this piece of junk before. This is a Scuba Pro Jet Fin. Now back in my 1320s, when the scuba diving was the first amendment, this might have been pretty cool. But hey, it's 2018. We've come a long way since this big, heavy piece of junk. What's the best thing we can do with this thing? I'll throw it in the trash can. All right, so the next fin we have that we're gonna do a review on is this right here. <laughs> Look at this crazy thing. This is what people call a split fin. I'll tell you what, I took this fin to the pool. I was going to see just how efficient these were. Everybody say they're real efficient. So I took it, I put them on my feet, and I went from one end of the pool to the other, and it took me 14,364 kick cycles to get from one end of the pool to the other. That's just too much. If I have a fin, I want something that's going to move me. So we're going to put this in here, right beside the jet fin, right in the trash can. All right, guys, next up we have this Mare's Extreme Fin. Now, I don't know if you've heard about these. First of all, let's go ahead and cover one thing. I know over in Europe where Mars, Mare's, whatever you want to call it is from, hey, they, they, they don't even know how to talk. M-A-R-E-S, here down south, spells Mare's, and that's what we're going to call it. But this fin here, let's talk about this fin. It's supposed to be the best of both worlds. It's supposed to be uh, as uh, efficient as a split fin, but yet have the power of the jet fin. But hey, you know what? I don't even, I wouldn't even put this thing on my foot. Look what color this thing is. Now what kind of man would wear something like this? So you know what we're gonna do with it? Right beside the split fin, right beside the jet fin, right in the trash can. <laughs> All right, guys, so we've talked about three different kinds of fins that you don't want to wear. You don't want a Mares Extreme, you don't want the split fin, and of course, you don't want that piece of junk Scuba Pro Jet Fin. Hey, let's get real. All you really need is a shoe, some duct tape, and a two by six. Bam! Check it out. It don't get any better than this, guys. I mean, think about it. Not only can you do this in a two by six, you can do it in a two by 10. And for y'all that have the weak calf muscles, go for the two by four. Any length you want. This fin here, I've got a total of $2.15 in it. These other fins, they can be upwards of $200 a pair. I'm just not into paying all that. And besides that, you come out of the water, somebody's laughing at you because you got these goofy looking things on. Hey, kick them upside the head, leave them laying there. Hey guys, this is T-Roy. I appreciate you watching. Hope you learned something. All right, guys, so I hope you like that, and I hope you understand that was meant as a joke. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a joke. Guys, when you pick out a dive fin, please make sure you pick out the right fin for you. Try not to be uh, pressured one way or the other by necessarily what your instructor wears or by what your dive buddies wear. Pick out the fin that works best for you. If you have some type of handicap and you, can't, you don't have a lot of leg strength, go with that lighter style fin. Use the technologies that's built in the fin to help you prepare yourself through the water. Maybe you do need a heavier style fin because maybe you're in a dry suit. Maybe you're fighting a current. Maybe you're in that cave environment. There's different fins for different scenarios. There's not gonna be that one magical fin that works for everything. So it is okay to own several sets of fins. Guys, if you like this video, or if you got any questions on any of the fins you saw in the video, simply put it down in the comment section below. There'll be several links in the description for these fins that'll take you to that manufacturer's website where you can read on it, see what colors it comes in, see how much that fin weighs. Check out those links for me. Do me another huge favor. Hit that like button for me and share this video with as many people as you can. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you got any questions, simply put it down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.